On the good buy side of cost sharing, there is that increased federal sensitivity to bidding wars. And you see that with the uniform guidance language on cost sharing as well. Um, when you think about sort of the idea that it says that this can't be used to consider a cost share, a, consider a sponsored program or proposal to be more competitive. Um, and so I think that that's a positive heading in the right direction associated with cost sharing, this sort of push to say we don't want to get into a bidding war. Um, NSF for some time now, has had a stance prohibiting voluntary cost sharing, though we do see a continued encouragement from time to time of institutional support. No more earmarks. Um, and I touched on the uniform guidance changes. Um, I think you know the federal budget constraints is a reason we may see cost sharing as coming uh, more than going. But I also think the question of whether or not in that difficult budget climate there may be more of a general institutional unwillingness to further subsidize research may be relevant there. And and I think that's an interesting sort of dichotomy or sort of thing to think about. The the idea that you know the federal budget constraints in some respect may encourage more cost sharing, but on the other side, perhaps that's going to make institutions who are already struggling potentially in certain areas to say, we cannot further subsidize research. We are already doing too much of that. And so I think by sort of going through those two pieces, it sort of tells you, you know, a few things. But basically, that cost sharing is not probably going away, right? Cost sharing is still going to be around in one form or another. But the environment has definitely changed in the last few years. And that means while the stakes are sort of still high, they're maybe even higher than before because we're sort of grappling with changes that have occurred. And so what we really need to do from an institutional perspective is continue to criticize evaluate how we approach cost sharing. And you, I think we think a lot about the mechanical approach, how we track on cost sharing, how we document cost sharing. But I think it's a good idea, and we'll talk about this a little bit, it's a good idea to consider the strategic approach to cost sharing um, and to have an appropriate strategic conversation all the way at the proposal stage and maybe even sooner as an institution and think about how sort of generally speaking an institution or maybe even a school or department depending on the situation approaches cost sharing from a strategy perspective. What you have sometimes happen I think is sort of it's more of sort of a general as things come up you end up cost sharing and all of a sudden you have a number of programs or cost sharing on. But if you think critically about the strategy you approach as an organization, that can be helpful. 